Good morning, it's Van Vien. Today we're going to be travelling on a travel day from Van Vien back to Ventien. We're on the high speed train this time, not the minibus. As you know, the minibus was a bit of a nightmare last time, so yeah, the high speed train. Van Vien Backpackers Hostel. I can highly recommend if you coming here. You can see it was so so cheap. If you've seen my last vlog, I showed you around the accommodation how much it was. And it was great. It was really, really good. I met some lovely people there. And like I say, it was so, so, so cheap. So now I'm heading off on the two and a half mile walk back up to the train station. And I'll show you my accommodation, my different accommodation in the NTN. It's only 9 a.m. It's already 30 degrees. My train is until 8 minutes past 11. But I just want to get set off early. It's going to take me just under an hour to walk there. And I'm on some of the train station, I can just relax. I'm so much going to miss the mountains. Like the butter's waving goodbye to me there. Goodbye. I got up very early this morning. Just so I could sit on the balcony and just look out at that, at that side. The fish, the chicken, pork, everything's already out. I've just been checking my currency account, which hangs over, I use a currency card and that hangs over me, me Halifax bank account, so charges don't come out for a few days. I've just noticed that the backpacker hostel, the NTN, have taken an extra payment, it was £6.65 a night, and they've taken a mystery £8.27 out my account. So it looks like I'm going to be going back to the back, Nana Backpacker Hostel in BNTN and having a word with the manager, so I want a refund. You've got to watch out, always watch over your bank account. You never know when they're going to take mystery payments out. This has never happened before, but I have heard of it happening. So, yes, they obviously didn't expect me coming back to BNTN and I will be going back to see the manager. I want to know what that charge is for. the size of them watermelons. Yes, unfortunately that's the dark side of travelling. If you're using your card, I've never, like I said, I've never had it done to me before, but I have heard of it happening to people. So yeah, keep your eye on your bank account all the time and be aware, be aware that this does happen. I wish I had more time, I would want that little pot of some food. So I've just spoken to my booking.com uh, advisor, yeah, I'm a level 3 genius on booking.com which is highest level you can be so you get personal customer service and that's where they took the money out through booking.com 
and I did make a booking for a teacher I met James in um, in Vientiane at the Nana Backpackers Hostel and I made the booking for him because he, he, he never had access to booking.com and I, when I booked up we went to the reception and they never had no beds available so it was la laziness on their part they never just they never took it down for that night so that's where the extra payment's gone from and uh, they assured me at reception that they they would have cancelled it they would have cancelled that booking because they never had no beds available but they never so yeah I'm going to get a refund tonight I'm only a mile away now from the train station I just stopped for a quick sugar cane drink on the way I had breakfast this morning at the Van Vian Backpackers Hostel I had a lot of fruit well, I'm not a big eater for breakfast but uh, yeah the sugar cane drink it was 20,000 kip which is not as cheap as Thailand but it's still very good. The sugar cane's really good for you. What I do is they grind it through the machine and then it comes out with the hose at the back. So yeah, it was really, really good. Really nice. I feel refreshed. just been looking into uh, the distance between Ventian railway station and uh, the city centre where my where my hostel is where I'm going to be staying this is 9.6 miles what really how can a railway station be so far out of the city 9.6 miles I mean I know that this is a two and a half mile walk which is a, a cake walk to me you know it's nothing 9.6 miles though We'll see when we get there. Will I get a bus? Will I get a taxi? I'm not sure. I'd rather walk it. I'd rather walk it, but I'm not sure that's going to be right. 9.6 miles. This is what I love about walking. It's not only about the fitness, it's about being with the livestock. And there in the animals and it's so so beautiful it really is walking you can't beat it you cannot beat it i mean look at the views and all the animals just running down the road you don't get that when you're in a tuk tuk or in a, a taxi this is real life real life on the ground Here we are again, Bang Vian tra uh, train station. Loads of tuk tuks, never seen so many. Massive Chinese investment. I know someone mentioned about this hotel y looking place. It hasn't got a name, but God, there's got to be what, 100 rooms in there? Back to back. No idea what that is, no idea. As you're going through into the departures, electronic detectors. No guns, no knives. Luckily I have none of them. I don't use aerosols. I don't use deodorant. Easy process, although they are very, very strict. They will pull you for anything. I want to check my bag for some reason, don't know why, but yeah, there was no problem. It's all very explanatory. I'm on coach C, uh, coach 3, sorry, seat number 10F. 
If you remember when I got the coach, or if anybody watches the channel all the time, I got the minibus here from uh, from VNTN. And it cost about £6.80 to get the high speed train back. It's about £6.50. Not much difference, but we'll see what walking it involves. But you know, I love a good stroll. And here it is, the high speed train. It was two hours to get from Ventian on the minibus. But this is a one hour journey. So we've come from Lang for Bank, which I will be visiting when I come back. The high speed train. All looks very new. Very regimented. As always, I'm not sitting in my allocated seat. It's very, very busy in the middle of the carriage. So I'll just sat myself at the back. Just relaxing here. Hopefully, no one will get on and want to be on this seat. It's very smooth. Normally, when I'm on the third class in Thailand, Chickity chan, chickity chan, chickity chan. Right now, this is so smooth. Lao is such a beautiful country. I'll be spending two, maybe three days in Ventian. But I will be back to Lao soon. It is so, so beautiful. Just had a message on the tunnel you come over. We're coming to a temporary stop. There's no station here. Uh, they just come over in numerous languages. But Please be aware that we'll come to a temporary stop. I don't know what for. Well, trigger the smoke alarm on the train. Causing the train to slow down or even make an emergency stop, which would endanger the safety of the public. Smoking is a strictly prohibited on the train. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, total sight. Very clean. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm looking out to see if there's a, a restaurant perhaps. You remember to get a cup of tea? We're on the move again. I think that might have been the first class. But no, you have a, a tea lady, what do you want to call them? Walking up and down the train. So I think that's it. That's where you get your refreshments. 
yeah, by the looks of things, the green seats were the first class. I was planning on uh, replying to all the messages this morning on the train, but I can't get no, no reception, no reception at all, there's no Wi Fi. And uh, yeah, I can't get a reception on my phone, so I will be replying soon. smoothly we put it miles off for the sleep it was so so nice it was a really really good experience so different than the minibuses a quick heads up keep all your ticket because you'll get asked on the way out uh, you get scanned you get scanned on the way out of the train station also when you go in so yeah keep all your ticket at all times It is 10 miles, 10 miles to the uh, to actually outside of Ventien. I'm gonna walk it, it's only 10 miles. Come on, let's get on the road. The same as in Bian Bien got these apartments, like hotel y type places. They could well be for the staff, it looks like that. It's all very smart, very, very smart. It's all a big fitness centre out the back. All fitness machines. As you're having all parks when you go to Asia. I'm not even going to ask about public transport. It's part of the adventure. Walking is all part of the adventure. You have all the public buses. 30,000 kip, it's nothing. 25,000 kip. You're talking like just over a pound. Okay. Taxis, minivans, I'm okay, mate. Yeah, I'm okay, mate. Ten miles, we're talking like three and a half hours. Three and a half hour wonder. Oh, I like that guy. He's taking all the weight off his girlfriend. He's carrying all the bags. Good on him. The NTN railway station. So many tuk-tuks, so many buses. But yes, it's part of the adventure. Let's go on the road. Where's all the mountains gone? Such flat ground. Here's one thing I missed straight away. Straight away, the mountains. Oh, Van Bien was such a beautiful, beautiful place. I've said that many times, probably too many times. But yeah, wow. It being here now, it's so evident how flat grounded it is. I just stopped off for a quick bottle of water. I'm back doing my proclaimers thing. I am a proclaimer. I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more. Back to Pukok in Vietnam. Putting in the miles. 
That said, it was when I made up, made up the, uh, the I'm a Proclaimer. If you know the Scottish band, the Proclaimers, I will walk 500 miles. That was when I lasted it for a long way. Uh, the taxi drivers tried to rip me off. So I said, I'll walk, I'll walk. I did like nine miles, it was great. Nice sausages, pork. Plenty of baguettes, as always, everywhere. Saladi. It's nice just to listen to the nature, taking it all in. The truck truck driver just pulled up. You need lift, you need lift in Vientiane. No, no, I'm okay mate, I'll walk. You can't walk, you can't walk. Yeah, I can mate, I can. I definitely can. You don't know me. Some amazing looking dogs here now. See the brown and the white. Now, if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know I have a little shit too. Back in England, I miss so much. So I love my dogs. And my friend Jay in Kanchanaburi, we're talking about breeding the Thai Ridgebacks and sending them back home. So, yeah, seeing the, the, the dogs here and now, so, so nice. So different. So anything I've seen in Thailand. Well, I went to the pharmacy, try and grab an electrolyte, and she's well crashed out. I don't want to wake her up, bless her. Yeah, this is a Boosaba pharmacy just by the side of the road. I don't want to disturb her, just for a couple of electrolytes. There'll always be another one down the road. The roads here remind me very much of Cambodia. Can never get over 30 miles an hour. Stop, start, stop, start, all the time. It's 36 degrees right now. It's getting hot. And I'm only two miles in. As I always say, when you walk on the roads, keep on the side of the traffic what's coming towards you. You can always dodge them, you can't dodge what's coming from behind you. Just got to somebody. Chelsea top on. Where's he off? You going fishing? Google Maps is telling me to go that way. Well, the lady in this cafe is telling me to keep on walking. Google Maps, are you trying to shaft me again? So that's putting an extra one and a half miles on top of my journey. So it's no longer 10 miles, it's now 11 and a half. You never know what to trust. Um, Google Maps has only let me down once and that was when I was in North, North Vietnam in the dark, it was very very hard but yeah, you, you, you always go look, ask the locals, ask the locals Oh, well, Google Maps keeps wanting me to kick off to the left I don't know where these roads run to I'm just going to head on the same road. Keep on the same road. That's uh, it's another 0.5 miles over the journey. 
Because you'll know we're on 12 mile walk. I don't know what that building is over there. You see the hammer and sickle again next to the lotion flag. Wow, these cows are suicidal. Slow down, man. Just let them cross. Give it two minutes. Yeah, well done you in the pickup. There's a lotion guy in the white jeep right in front. He's pulled over and he asked me if I wanted a lift. A free lift in the, in the, in the capital. Yeah, so I'm going to walk. I don't know where to be. I'm not, I'm not going in a rush. But yeah, lovely guy. Offered to give me a free lift. Remember, I'm not doing this to save money. As you see... How is he? As you see from, yeah, from the train station, it's only 30,000 kit, which is about £1.10. So it's not a money saving thing. This is because I enjoy it. This is because I love walking. So don't come at me saying I'm a penny pincher, because I'm not. This is because I enjoy walking. So buddy! <laughs> He's giving his little sister a tour. It would seem every pharmacy I come in, people are asleep. My son manned. Six miles in, six miles to go. The lovely guy at the shop is here. He gave me some uh, some ice. He brought me with me electrolyte. Very, very much needed. It's a sweaty day. 37 degrees now. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody's feeling the heat right now. Wow, that's a nice house. That is a very nice house. I've only just left up uh, the, the shop, so I'm still six miles away. Oscar Taekwondo, or is it a drug free school? What makes me sad is to see the Union Jack looking so decrepit up there. As are all the flags, they need taken down, washing, and hanging back up. I always hate to see the Union Jack whenever it's looking dirty. All flags should always be very, very clean. I think that's a primary, secondary, and a kindergarten school. But yeah, take the flags down, put them through the washing machine, put them straight back up again. It was the uh, first time I ever, I ever visited Phuket. I don't advise to do this, by the way. It was in 2006. I've said this many times. Uh, about my first visit there. 
that I've never told you about. I climbed up the flagpole because the Union Jack it was uh, it was all frayed and it, it looked really 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 bad. So I climbed up the flagpole. I was drunk by the way. And then I took back home. I took back home and I got it repaired. So yes, Union Jack is always big by my heart. Geological Prospection Exploration and Mineral Analysis Service Centre. Low mining development. Doesn't look loud to me. Not with them big green banners. Uh, red, sorry, red, green. Them big red banners. I know I've mentioned this too much. I'm going to stop going to the hammer and sickle, stop going to the, the old communism thing. This is all about budget traveling and the place where I travel to. But it's just so strange to me. It is so strange to see things like that. It's frightening, frightening at times. Just four miles to go. The capital is so small here. You have three high-rise buildings, that's it, in the whole city. And I'm getting closer. For a litre of fuel, 23,840 kip, which is kicking on about 90 pence. So that's a little bit more than Thailand, a little bit more. I said I wouldn't mention this again, but Peugeot, seriously? Such a big company? Wow. Just wow. Just walking past the museums. I've no idea who that guy is. The Kaishorn Tommy VN Museum. I'm on a mission, so I haven't got time looking at Google Maps. But yeah, the Prom VN Museum. This is all the wildlife. The National Convention Centre. At least they have some dignity. One flag flying, the Laotian flag. That's the way it should be. The only three high-rises in Vientiane They look extremely similar by the way but That just tells me I'm getting closer Two miles to go Ten miles in My feet are feeling it, but I'm not I'm fit as a fiddle But I shouldn't have worn my sandals I should have put my trainers on Two of them high rises are joined together. He's still under construction. I wonder who funded that. I think we both know. One sign says the International Cooperation and Training Centre. Right next to it is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Which one are you? The training centre? Or are you the foreign affairs? 
I feel for Lau, I really do. Such a beautiful country. Oh, check that bad boy out. Can't beat a good old Harley. A donut on route. Chocolate and peanut. 6,000 uh, 6, kit, 22p. Where's the traffic jam? Just get on the pavement. <laughs> I'm dodging motorbikes on the pavement. They're everywhere. to feel a few spots of rain that's what I told these we've only got a mile and a half to go traffic is crazy here that's exactly what I'm talking about Independence. Have pride in your country, Lau. That's what it's all about. That's what I love to see. Feel like I need a bite to eat. Do you want to be sharing it with the flies? My god, I've got no idea what that was. <laughs> Nothing looks overly appetizing. Sausage does look good though, and the beef. So for a stick of beef, it's 10,000 kip, it's about 40p. For one sausage, it's almost 25,000 kip. Like what? Really? One skewer of sausage, uh, one skewer of beef for 10,000, for one sausage, 25. Good morning. It's now obviously the next day. I thought I'd stay the night. I can give you a better rundown in the accommodation. And I was ruined yesterday. I was absolutely worn out. You can well imagine after walking over 15 miles in 36 degree heat, it was very tiring. But yeah, this is my hostel. So this place is five pounds 50 a night and you get a free breakfast. It's called the Barn Lau Hostel. I'll put the, the location in the description as always. Hello. So you get a free breakfast, you get the toast, free tea, coffee, plenty of fruit. Free water. Nice relaxing space. Right, mess. Now the rooms are a little bit smaller than what I'm used to in the hostels. There's six beds 
in each one. But, like I say, I never spend much time in hostel. I never spend much time in the accommodation. The bed is extremely comfortable. You've got privacy curtains, so there's no problem. You come in on a night, you jump in bed, you open your curtain, jump in bed, close the curtain, and that's it, lights off, you switch off, it's, it's, it's just an accommodation, it's £5.50 a night with free breakfast, can you complain about that? I know a lot of people like the problem, their own privacy, last year, I've said this many times, I wouldn't have dreamed about staying in the hostel, but I, I always think, I never spend no time there. So why, why not? It, it's, it's, yeah, it's so, it's so convenient, so cheap. So thank you for joining me yesterday and today on the high speed train from Van Vien. And I hope you can join me in the next one. Have a great day guys.